Luke chapter 4 verse 17 to 19 says, And the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Now I want you to notice what Jesus Christ brings. Good news to the poor. This is what leads us to salvation. He comes to proclaim liberty to the captives. This is to pardon our sins and set us free from a guilty verdict. He also comes to set at liberty those who are oppressed. This is to give us true and lasting freedom from every unclean spirit. Furthermore, when Jesus Christ comes into your life, he brings peace. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15 says, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Now because of the heavy price that was paid on the cross, we don't have to labour for our own salvation. We don't have to earn it. We don't have to save up for it. All we need to do is to receive Jesus Christ. It's to receive him in our hearts. Then and only then can peace rule our minds. And finally, I'd like to tell you that Jesus Christ brings love. 1 John chapter 4 verse 16 says, So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. It was love that sent Jesus Christ to the cross, and it's because of love that we have access to grace and mercy and eternal life through Jesus Christ. If you have a personal relationship with Jesus, you have access to all these things. You have access to peace beyond understanding. You've got access to freedom and liberty. When Jesus comes into your life, there is no more oppression there is no more captivity, there is only salvation, there is life and there is freedom from sin. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the author of all things that are good. Everything that is pure, everything that is righteous is you, Lord Jesus. Wherever you are, there is peace. There is joy, there is life. We invite you, Lord, to come into our hearts and into our homes, because where your presence is, there can be no captivity. There can be no oppression. There is only liberty and freedom in you. Thank you, Father because you freely offered yourself to die on a cross, all because you loved us. And now we praise you, Lord, because all authority has been given to you. Whatever you say will come to pass. Whenever you enter our lives, blessings cannot help but flow from you. You are the object of our affection. You demand our attention and our reverence, and so we bow down to you. None can stand against your will, Lord Jesus. You are able to accomplish all that you set out to do. Your power and your goodness cannot be questioned. Psalm chapter 16 verse 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, 
at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Father, we invite your presence to invade our lives. Your presence is what my soul longs for. Your presence is the very thing that our lives need. For so long this world has rejected you and turned away from you and put their faith in worthless things. However, we as your children stand on your word which says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 19 to 21, So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the chief cornerstone of our lives, and we worship you and choose to obey you alone. Come into our lives, come into our homes, come into our minds and bring restoration and peace and love in each of our hearts, Lord. Displace every unclean thought. Drive out every cloud of darkness with your radiant light. Come and sweep our lives in a mighty way. Cast out all fear and every negative pattern of thinking. At your voice, demons tremble and flee because you hold all authority. Father, move into our homes. Bring peace and unity into our families. Heal every heart that is longing for love today. Lord Jesus, we need you. There is power in your name. When you speak, chaos turns into order. Darkness turns into light. Evil is conquered and righteousness prevails. In your presence, nothing unholy can remain. Lord, I pray that you may do a new thing in our lives. And even now, you stand at the door of our hearts and knock. So help us to answer your call and to soften our hearts. May you show up in a mighty way. Exercise your sovereign rule over every part of my life. Whatever your will is, may I be a servant that is available for your use. May your glory be known to us, in our families and even in our communities. Awaken our spirit to tap into the wonderful power of the Holy Spirit within us. Father, make us aware of your presence daily, and may the Holy Spirit speak to us, may he minister to us, may he counsel and guide us each and every day. I bless your holy name, and I thank you for listening to this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen.